Hey, what's going on? Valiant Blaze here with Soul Purpose Gaming, and I just wanted to bring you a little bit of news coming from the PlayStation side of things. It turns out the PlayStation Plus um, will be getting a price hike over in Europe. Uh, it's just the monthly and the three monthly. Uh, those are going to be getting a price hike by a couple of dollars. Um, uh, I'm guessing that it's probably to try to get more people to get the yearly subscription. Uh, maybe people in Europe, whatever, don't have the yearly subscription as much as the people in the U.S. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have the numbers on it. But um, and I think it kind of sucks, especially because the people in Europe are having really bad uh, uh, connection speeds. Um, you know, they always have like a lot of trouble with that. Uh, I know PlayStation said when they were first going to release the PS4 that they were going to work with the internet providers over in Europe. And, uh, you know, try to help people out, whatever, to get a stronger connection and stuff. Try to work some kind of deal out. Um, that has not shown any fruit. Uh, as far as I know, nothing ever came of that. So, you know, it's one of those, like, uh, I don't know. I guess they're still working on it. Maybe it's an empty promise. Not sure. But um, that kind of sucks they're raising the prices over there. Because, you know, they might end up raising the prices over here in the U.S. And that would really suck. And who knows? Um, they're already $10 cheaper than uh, Xbox. And now that they're in the lead... Maybe they'll feel that, hey, you know what, um, you know, a lot of people will think that our PlayStation Plus is better than the Xbox Live, so let's go ahead and make the same price, or maybe a more expensive price, you know? And us, the, uh, you know what I'm saying, we would probably pay it, you know? Who knows? Uh, I would hate that. Um, I don't pay full price for my PlayStation Plus, never will. Um, you know, if you guys want, I could probably give you guys maybe a couple ideas where to go you know I mean there's eBay and it's always goes on sale and stuff like that make sure to stock up when you, it's on sale you know because it doesn't go on sale all the time but um that's basically how you get free uh, not free but very cheap places in plus there are ways to get free places in plus but I won't be putting that in this video um, there's plenty of other YouTube videos out there that cover that um, you know I'm just gonna say uh, I'm just gonna give the gist of it basically you're gonna make a another master account on your PlayStation that is from Japan or China or something alright but I'm not gonna go into details in this video but if you wanna check it out whatever go ahead and look at somebody else's video on another channel alright but um you know that kinda sucks right there that they're hiking up the prices though you know maybe that'll lead more people to do this cheap um I, would, I wouldn't do it but you know whatever I know PlayStation wants their money and uh you know I wouldn't be surprised if they banned your account if they caught you doing it so just a little, you know, disclaimer there. Um, also, the PlayStation projector is coming out. Um, it's a, uh, you know, it's it's the size of like five cell phones put together. Um, you know, you hook it up to your PlayStation 4, and it makes a projection screen comes out, whatever. You know, uh, it's pretty cool looking, I guess. If you have that kind of wall space in your house, I do not. I would have posters and paintings and stuff like that all over the place. There's no way I'd be able to use this. Um, so I'm definitely not going to pick it up, but you know, if you do have that kind of space, it, it might be kind of cool. Unfortunately, I don't think most people are going to get it because it's $350. Yeah, 350 bucks for this. So I'd imagine the majority of gamers probably wouldn't buy this at all. Um, save your money for the Project Morpheus, my friends. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure how this going to work out. It's kind of weird, though, because I don't think anybody was really asking for a projection screen for the PlayStation. So it's kind of weird to me that they even bothered to make it. But, uh, you know, PlayStation is like that. Uh, they make stuff that people don't ask for. All right, well, that's pretty much all I got right now. Um, go ahead and leave down in the comments below your opinions on things. Will you be getting the projector for the PlayStation? Um, do you think it's okay for them to... Uh, hike up the prices of their service because their service is really cool according to them um, or you think it should stay the same or maybe you think it should go back to being free many people are going with the free option I myself are going with the free <laughs> um, anyways uh, yeah and another thing is is that like supposedly they're supposed to put this money back into the PlayStation service but anybody who has PlayStation knows that that thing goes down all the freaking time so like are they really putting their money back into it I don't think they are um, and that's really, really messed up because that was their whole justification for charging you in the first place. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right, go ahead and leave in the comments down below if you agree with me. If you don't, whatever your opinion is, I want to hear it. All right, and uh, like and subscribe for more gaming news. All right, Valiant Blaze out.